Hello and welcome to the world of recipes. I'm Vaishali and today we are going to make Angara chicken. Angara means fire or when it hits your tongue, you feel hot. That's Angara. It, it can be also called as smoked chicken. It is very spicy chicken with a smoky flavor in it. So let's see the ingredients. For Angara chicken, we need chicken about 800 grams. I'm using only leg pieces here. You can use normal cut chicken also yogurt one cup these are two medium sized onions chopped two medium sized tomatoes chopped one tablespoon ginger and garlic paste then we need some dry whole spices here coriander one tablespoon jeera or cumin half tablespoon fennel seeds or soap half tablespoon bay leaves in number then four to five red these are dried red chilies two to three strands of javitri black pepper corns two teaspoons eight to ten cloves cinnamon stick two small cinnamon sticks and cardamom four to five pods then we need turmeric powder one teaspoon this is red chili powder i have taken one teaspoon of red chili powder here for taste because we are already using dried red chilies in this recipe this is kashmiri red chili powder i have taken one tablespoon of it this is specially for getting the color red color in the gravy salt this is about one tablespoon of salt then we need oil for frying onions as well as for making gravy i need one charcoal piece here and ghee or clarified butter as per requirement let's start with the recipe now first we need to dry roast all the whole spices the pan is heating i'm going to add this coriander seeds cumin seeds fennel seeds cinnamon stick cardamom pod, cloves, peppercorns, javitri, bay leaves. Dry roast them for a minute or so. After one minute, I have started getting aroma of these spices. Now I will add red chilies to this and dry roast them as well. We are adding 5 red chilies here because this is a spicy gravy. All the spiciness will come because of this red chilies only. If you don't like spicy uh, gravy then you can reduce the number of chilies here. Toast them for one more minute. Now after one minute I have started getting this smoke as you can see. And I am I'm getting nice aroma of all the spices. I will turn off the flame and take out the spices and let it cool down. In the same pan I will add oil. I am adding more oil here because we need to fry the onions in this oil. And as the oil becomes hot, let's add all these onions to this. We need to fry these onions till it becomes light golden brown in color. Now these onions are nice and golden brown. We will remove it from the oil and let it cool down. Now we have removed this uh, onions from oil. Now same oil we are going to use to cook chicken gravy. Now this whole garam masala is cooled down. Now I will transfer them in a blender and grind them for a fine powder. Now this spice powder is ready. Now I'm going to add this spice powder to this yogurt and I will add all the dried masalas to this Kashmiri red chilli powder, salt, red chilli powder and turmeric powder and mix them together. Now this mixture is ready. Now I'm going to add this ginger garlic paste also to this. Mix it well. And now we will transfer this mix on this chicken. We need to marinate this chicken with this. Cover all the pieces of chicken with this. Marinate. Now all the pieces of chicken are covered properly and it's ready for marination. Now we have to give smoky effect to this. For this I am going to transfer burnt coal 
I'm going to put it here. We'll add some clarified butter over it. And we'll cover this marination and let it marinate for about half an hour. Now these onions are cooled down. Now I will combine these onions with tomatoes and grind them for a fine paste in a blender. Now I will grind them together. Now this smooth onion and tomato paste is ready. Now this chicken has been marinating for one hour. We'll remove this coal from here. And we'll start making gravy now. Pan is heating. Now we'll add this onion oil to this. This is the oil in which we have fried onions. It needs more oil. So about three tablespoon oil I have added here. Now oil is hot. We're going to add these chicken pieces to this. These are marinated chicken pieces without marination. Fry this chicken in this oil for about 5 minutes. Now it's been about 10 minutes and these chicken pieces have fried well. Now we are going to add this marination. And we'll add this onion and tomato paste too. Mix it well. Here all our spices are cooked. Only tomatoes need to cook. So we, uh, we will cover this for about 10 minutes and we'll cook this gravy till the oil separates. Now it's been 15 minutes, the chicken pieces are cooking and the oil has separated from the spices. And our chicken is also nice and tender now. We'll add in some water to this. Now I washed this marination bowl with this water. We'll add this water to this. Mix it well and let the gravy boil a little bit and then our chicken is ready. Now this gravy is cooked properly. Now to give it a more smoky effect, we can keep this smoke bowl again here. This is totally optional. We turn off the flame and just close the lid and keep it for 5 minutes like this. Enjoy this smoky chicken with chapati, roti, pulka, uh, tandoori roti or naan or any kind of bread or rice. Thanks for watching this recipe. For more recipes, keep on watching World of Recipes. Thank you.